<laughs> Babies may be cute and adorable, but that is not what always our parents think of us. At least mine did it. Respected Toastmasters, fellow youth leaders, and distinguished guests, good evening. Good evening. For people who are wondering who I am, my name is Ishita Wadwa. I was born on the 4th of September 2001 in Kanpur, a city in Uttar Pradesh, which is famous for its street food and leather. I was the first child of my parents and their bundle of joy. But as years passed, they realized that the term joy better be replaced with annoy. <laughs> for around three and a half years, I remained the center of attention. I was my parents' princess and was very pampered. They were my king and queen, and life was no less than a fairy tale dream. But just when I had started imagining a happily ever after, I received the biggest shock of my life. It was probably one of the worst things that could ever happen to me in my childhood. I had to share my parents with my younger sister. At first, I didn't like her at all. But as years passed, I started to adore her and maybe even accepted the fact that now I will no longer remain the master of my own universe. I'm from Punjab. As a child, I have traveled a lot. After my birth in Uttar Pradesh, my parents moved back to Bharuj in Gujarat, where they had lived before my birth. I have had one of the most horrifying experiences of my life in Gujarat. I injured myself in the neck into the sharp glass on the kite string and had received stitches. You can still see the marks today. After a few years in Gujarat, we moved to Maharashtra, where my younger sister was born. We stayed there for about even less than a year when we again traveled to Uttar Pradesh, where my grandparents had lived. We stayed with them as a joint family for even less than six months. Then we again traveled to Saudi Arabia in December 2005. When my father had told me that we would be moving to Saudi Arabia for good, I was the most reluctant. I didn't want to leave my grandparents. But to calm me down, my grandmother had said, both the flight and if there are seats empty for the four of us, give us a call and we will come along with you. I was so overjoyed. As soon as I entered the plane, I spotted nine seats empty. When I reached Saudi Arabia, I called up my grandmother and said, Daddy, there are nine seats empty in the airplane. You can come. In February 2007, my younger brother was born. He is not so mysterious but can be very annoying at times. My hobbies include baking, reading books, writing poems, etc. I discovered my love for writing poems when I was in the fifth grade at our computer class one day. I first got interested in baking because of my father. I saw him make cake one day and I was very curious to see what he was doing. So I tried to interfere in the kitchen and try to make a mess of everything around. I love space. It has always been fascinating to look at the night sky or the weather. I don't have a proper ambition yet, but I would like to be an astronomer or a detective. I have been at International Indian School Al Jubeir since upper kindergarten. I have very supportive and encouraging classmates who try to bring out the best in everyone. I love my class because we stand as a united class. I sometimes wish I could bathe myself in the endless shower of stories or lose myself in the pages of poetry. If I was ever gifted such a life, what else could I ask for? Over to you.